It is back to school today for many districts in our area. Tens of thousands of students returned to the classroom today, including many in New Jersey. CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge visited one district that still has a COVID restriction and also another that is finally reopening after more than two years. So happy. We've been waiting for this for such a long time. Students at Crestgill Middle and High School relieved to finally be back in the comfort of their own school building. Ever since the flooding and COVID and the pandemic, um, we couldn't have like a normal day of school. Last year, the remnants of Hurricane Ida destroyed the auditorium, the gym, and the media center. The water came crashing down. We had two, two to three feet of water. Superintendent Michael Burke says the school on Lincoln Drive was built in a flood zone back in 1962, but it was never breached by water until last year. This summer, repairs were touch and go and parents fought to speed up the process. I'm so relieved that they got it together and they could open on the first day. I'm so excited the kids are back. It's a big event. It's a big, the students have not been back in this building fully since March 13th of 2020. We battled COVID, we battled the flood. We've been in three different locations. Seeing all the teachers sitting in the cafeteria, having a gym, you know, it's just a normal school experience again. In Newark, it was also almost a normal back to school experience at Quitman Street Community School minus one restriction. In June, what I began to do was relax all of them with the exception of masks. Uh, we will look at what the numbers look like at the start of the school year and then be able to make masks optional uh, in the coming weeks. Meanwhile, a teacher shortage continues to be an issue across the country as well as here in Newark. So we have uh, about 80 vacancies uh, at the start of the school year and looking very aggressively to uh, uh, filling them as well. As for the students, they're ready to aggressively start filling out those pages of math homework. We're in the eighth grade now, so it's going to be like really hard. But given the challenges of the last few years, they're resilient and ready for anything. In Newark, New Jersey, Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News.